Well, so many of us started 2020 having the best of intentions, <laughs> right? Exactly. We are going to lose weight. We're going to eat healthy. We're going to walk yeah. every day. And then it just it kind of fizzles. Nice well, you're still actually doing good. How I'm, much have you lost? I, I am down 11 pounds, but you know, it's, it's, it's like this Trust right me. now. So, you know, everybody's got the best of attentions as she had, uh, as she said, our medical reporter, Rosemary Belts, talked to a local doctor about some of the challenges, though, some of us have in keeping those diet resolutions. I'm on the struggle bus as well. Here's Rosemary Belts with Speaking of Health. Try to walk 20 minutes a day, twice a day, and do other exercises. Well, stay healthy, eat well, lots of exercise, and be happy. Uh, one of my New Year's resolutions is to actually lose a little bit of weight. So, um, Mine is the same to, you know, eat healthier. Most people set the same ambitious health goals at the start of every year. And the year before and maybe the year before that also. The reality is success rates are not inspirational. In fact, experts say less than half of people keep their resolutions. Why are so many falling short? I didn't have enough accountability last year. Lexington family practice doctor Kelly Savia says most people set their sights too high and lack support. Her advice? Make small goals that ultimately will end up with a large change. She recommends you ask your doctor for help. We are somewhat underutilized for, as a um, accountability partner in a sense and can be used an adjunct with either a trainer or a family member but nonetheless you have to establish a support system because it's hard change is hard there's there are things that we can do in your annual physical that can help us determine if that change has made any difference into your cholesterol or to your fasting sugar or, or what have you Dr. Savia says another major key is knowing why these resolutions are important to you Melba Aller knows why health is at the top of her list. Uh, yes, I'd like to live to be 100, as my dad did, and um, be around to see how the grades get older. Last, have a plan. Write down measurable goals, like going to bed earlier and waking up earlier to exercise. Be consistent. Change takes discipline. A lot of people treat New Year's resolutions as a sprint rather than a marathon, but it really is a marathon. And if you've lost your passion for vegetables and the treadmill, give yourself a pat on the back and do something good for yourself. And that should kickstart you in any situation. Don't quit, you know, just pick yourself up, get back on the bandwagon. It's called a do-over. And sometimes in life, we all need, we all need a do-over. Rosemary Belts, News 19, WLTX. All right, coming up in the second half of our Friends at Five, we're going to have the latest on this severe weather that is headed our way. What you need to know for tomorrow next.